Once we clean up the floor properly, we need to do a few things before we start laying the underlayment. To be precise, three things. First, we need to fill these cracks in. These cracks are pretty common in the great state of Texas. Cracks like this will be seen and over here. Once we fill the cracks in, I'm going to determine the level of the floor and pour self-leveling compound on it. Uh, wherever I do need self-leveling compound, I'm going to prime the floor first before putting the self-leveling compound. Uh, priming is not necessary where there is no self-leveling required. To fill the cracks, the first thing we do is clean it up with a pocket knife and then as I clean I'm gonna vacuum the stuff that's coming out, the loose debris that is coming out. Now that I have cleaned up the cracks, I'm going to use this Quickrete product, Concrete Crack Seal. Just basically cut a hole on top of here and then put the opening, sort of press it into my crack and just fill it up. Now it's recommended to overfill a little bit so that it, it's you can see a hump basically as I pour it in. And there you go, this is my first fill, and very soon we're gonna see this liquid seep in. And what was a hump before, it's going to seep in and I'm going to see trenches. Just like this. I can see it was a hump before but now it's seeping in through the trench. And that's a good sign. I need to go to, I need to get the liquid in. That's another example of the trench. I need to get the liquid in as deep as possible. So I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes. And if I see any trenches, I'm going to refill it. It's been three or four applications now. I can still see a trench being formed. I can fill it in more. Basically, I'm trying to get to a point where there's no trenches formed within a reasonable amount of time, maybe about five minutes or so. I'm back here after about 30-40 minutes and I can see more trenches being formed. So I'll clean it up with my putty knife. Top like this as much as I can. So I think 40 minutes, 45 minutes is a good time. But it's not too liquidy and I can clean up the top pretty easily. Now I'm going to put in more in, fill those trenches. I'm back after about 40-45 minutes. I just scrub out 
the humps so to speak throw this away here's the finished cracker bears over here over here and over here including the inside of the closet so to summarize the whole process it's a sort of a two-step process repeating over and over again until you get the results the first step is just pouring the liquid cement into the cracks and within a couple of minutes maybe three or five minutes the trenches will reappear that means the liquid is seeping into the crack and then I pour it again until I see that I until I see that the trenches are full then I go away for about 40 50 maybe even one hour and come back clean up the humps with my putty knife and then if there is any trenches which most likely will be there I refill the trenches and repeat the same thing again I fill it again wait for two three minutes until I don't see it coming back and then I again go away for about 40 50 minutes one hour come back and clean with the putty knife all the humps to make it flat with the surface of the concrete and I repeat that again if required if I see trenches so that's how I did this process of filling in the cracks we are going to start priming all the floor for the self-leveling compound we're going to be using this Maypay Maypie primer T is a special primer for underlayment and the other things we need is a sponge and a sponge roller and an extension stick so we can just stand and roll on the floor the sponge is made for rough surfaces smooth to semi smooth uh, we can also use the one for rough which is usually three quarters and then there's a tray here to put the primer in I'm gonna be putting the trash bag um, on top of the tray basically put the tray inside the trash, trash bag so we don't have to wash the tray later on We left the primer to dry overnight and in the morning it has created a nice glossy seal surface and this is the surface that is going to make the underlayment or make the self-leveling underlayment or self-leveling cement to stick to this ground. This is a bonding agent. This is also sort of a sealer because when we use the floor maintainer for a couple of days we always had continuously concrete dust coming out of the floor and it was getting everywhere in the air. Uh, but once I put the primer in, I can see that even if I touch this, there's no concrete dust. So it helps seal the whole floor uh, in a nice way. Now, originally we had thought of putting the primer only where the self-leveling cement is required. But then we went ahead and put it everywhere because at that point we didn't know where self-leveling cement is uh, needed. Um, and it helped out to seal, like I said. It made the whole concrete uh, nice, glossy, sealed with no concrete dust. So that's it. Thanks for watching.